Hey everybody, it's Tamara Bernadette reminding you that it is never too late to begin again. And I'm always here to, to encourage you with a story or, or something to help you to realize that it is never too late to begin again. Right now you might be feeling that you don't have what it takes to move forward. You might be feeling like you're carrying around all this luggage, this baggage, the weight on your shoulders, maybe the weight on your body. You don't like how you feel because life has just really brought you to a place you feel broke down and tired and you just really want to give up because you just, you, you know, hear what you hear what I'm saying. You hear and you might like the idea that it is never too late to begin it, to begin again. And it sounds great. And you might be thinking, that's great for everybody else, but I don't see how that could happen for me. My life has been, it's, it's been rough. It's been hard. I don't, I'm not married anymore. My husband's gone or um, there's nobody in my life. My kids are gone. I hardly see them or they live on the other side of the country or they, don't, or they don't live in the country or they live not very far, but I don't see them. And I had grandkids, but I never see them. Or maybe you, you do have a full family life and that's fine, but you might be saying, but yes, that's fine, but they have their own lives and I have the rest of my life and I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with my life. I don't want to burden my children with all my problems. They're not my entertainment. They're not to take the place of my happiness. So they make me happy. But what about my life? They're living their lives. They're living, they're raising their own families and so forth. And that's, that's, that's life. That is the circle of life. And now you're in a different part of your life. And you're wondering, can anything can anything happen with the rest of my life that I feel really good about? And the answer is yes. You, I understand that you're feeling that heaviness and you might feel like this is it. I don't have it within me to, to go on and try anything else. So I guess I'm just settled in this position in life, this station in life that I am now in right now. Well, it doesn't have to be that way. If you have a dream that you buried and you want to bring it back, you want to revive it, you want to put some life into it, do it because it's your time. It is time for you to, to get out and do the things that you always wanted to do. Try those things you wanted to try, but you weren't able to. Now you can. There are free things. If you if money is an is an issue, there are things that you that are free. F get out and find out. There's some work that you have to do. It's looking into your communities. It's looking into the library. It's looking online and looking for different things. They're out there, but you have to get proactive. And sometimes that's not even. Sometimes that's too much, because you're feeling so down, so discouraged, so out of place that you don't know how to start because you are you might not feel like you even know who you are anymore. Like I, like I was saying, kids are gone so you're no longer a full-time mom, wife, and all these different things. It's just you. And if it's not just you in the house, you still feel empty. You still feel like there's more for you right now. And there is. And it's inside of you. The answer is inside. But the first thing you have to do is take care of yourself. You have to put yourself first. And sometimes that might feel like a very daunting task. And so I want you to understand you're not alone. You're not alone. You don't have to do this by yourself. And if you think that you have to let go of the past and feel guilty about it, you don't. It's okay to let that go. It's okay. It's okay to say goodbye in fondness or I'm putting you over here in fondness and, the, and in love. And understand that God says, forget the past, forget the former things. Those days are those days are done. Move forward. Move forward even with a better relationship with your kids, with your spouse, with friends and so forth. But move forward. You're changing. The reason why I know you're changing is because you are questioning you are questioning yourself, you're questioning your future, you're questioning everything. 
So that's a huge sign right there. But God says, forget the former things. I'm doing something new in you. I want to do something new in your life, but you have to let go of the past so you can stop comparing. Forget those things so that it leaves room for God to come in and open some doors for you to make a way in the desert, to light up the path in the, in the wilderness, in the desert. Let him do that for you. He makes streams in the desert. Let him do that for you and, and trust that because he will take you down the path of the areas that you need to work on. Everybody's different. I completely and totally believe in self-care being the number one thing that you need to do before you can proceed into the goals and plans and dreams that you have for yourself so you can build up your confidence. I firmly believe in that. But sometimes before you, have, before you can do that, you have to get with God and hear Him and let Him guide you. Let Him pull you out of that darkness. Let Him pull, let him pull you up out of, you know, where you feel flatlined and you're, you feel awful and feel crummy and weighted down but let him help you before you can move on so again forget the past forget the former things so that you can move forward and have the best things that God has in store for you I firmly believe in this I really do these are all these are from my own experiences so I speak from experience so I know what I'm saying because I know for years I felt like I was in the dark. For years I was in the wilderness. For years. And I thought I had to figure everything out on my own. I did and I tried. I really tried. And I fell on my face many, many times and made a lot of mistakes because I did not understand that God really wanted to help me in the ways that He has helped me. And He's still helping me. He will continue to help me. I don't, I don't got this. I never will. It will just be a continuous, a, a continu continuous growth to be the best that I can be. Just like I'm hoping that you will take, get on the bandwagon and and leave the, the leave the past so that you can move forward and receive the best things for your life. So that's what I'm hoping for you. So um, God is for you, and trust that He. He has answers for you and it might not you might not see it and oftentimes we don't because we're in this part of our lives where we we're so confused and things are just not the same anymore the things that you were used to are no longer the same the way that you used to do something is no longer going to work for you now so you have to let that go it's kind of like letting go of the way that we used to change the TV channel we just have to get up and walk over to the TV and turn it off, turn the channel. We don't have to do that anymore. It's different. There's a new way. There's a better way. And say goodbye to your old TV. <laughs> and see how great TV is now. I'm not a big TV fan. I'm just saying you see how, how different it is and how all the options and all the wonderful things about it versus how it used to be. It's kind of like how it is with your life. Let go of the past. It was great, you know, it was fine. But now you do things differently. You watch TV differently. You're gonna have relationships with your kids and your family and, and friends and everything. That's gonna be different. It's gonna be higher levels, higher levels, because you are entering a higher level of living. But you'll need instruction, you'll need guidance, and you'll need to tap into your faith could be a lot of tears because you'll get some real revelations and that's okay but let God do that for you and trust that he's going to make a way for you because that's his job that's what he does so anyway I want to just remind you with that if you if you're interested in the scripture for that you'll find oh but that scripture is in Isaiah it's in Isaiah 43 verses 18 and 19 and I highlighted that and highlighted that I'm saying I multiple times because I've it's it's uh, touched my life many times over the years in, in different areas of my life and it pertains to right now as well because I'm going through a season in my life where I'm I'm at a place where I'm making some very important decisions and it's kind of scary because I want to do it a certain way 
but I have to step back and realize that it's not that way for me. God's making a new way for me, and it's going to be good, just like you. Just like you, he's going to make a way that is perfect and perfectly designed for you and your needs and where you want to go, your dreams and so forth. So anyway, I hope you have a great rest of the day, depending on what time you're, you're listening to this or watching this. And I thank you, and I ask that you please subscribe and like. I, I hope you have a great day and have a great weekend because this is a Friday, so have a great weekend. Okay, bye-bye.